let's study about dural venous sinuses how to remember and draw all of them i learned this from one of my teacher and i found it very helpful so i would like to share it with you all people so starting our lecture the first sinus i'm going to draw here you all may be familiar with is the largest sinus and that's the superior sagittal sinus let's call superior sagittal sinus as the father now drawing the next which is the inferior sagittal sinus and drawing the third the occipital sinus let's call this occipital sinus as the mother so next what happens the superior sagittal sinus and the occipital sinus gets married together to have a their own son which is called the inferior sagittal sinus let's call this sinus as the son of the two moving next the inferior sagittal sinus gets married to the great vein of galen and further the inferior sagittal sinus after being getting married turns and become straight and let's call this sinus the straight sinus Further, inferior sagittal sinus and his wife gets to have further two sons. So they have their further, they guess get to have their further two sons. So these sons, one may be called the transfer sinus or we call it lateral sinus this is the left and drawing here the right transfer sinus the opposite side next what happens this lateral transfer sinus further gets married to the superior petrosal sinus which is coming from the cavernous sinus so this lateral transfer sinus gets married to this superior petrosal sinus coming from a family of the cavernous sinus so cavernous sinus let their girl which is the superior petrosal sinus marry the lateral uh, transverse sinus further lateral transverse sinus and superior petrosal sinus after marriage what happens is that the uh, lateral transverse sinus gets curved after marriage lateral transverse sinus becomes curved so now we need to make the lateral transfer sinus straight so we let him have another marriage with the inferior petrosal sinus which is again coming from the cavernous sinus and what happens after the after inferior petrosal sinus gets again 
uh, gets married to the lateral transverse sinus lateral transverse sinus having his uh, second marriage with the inferior petrosal sinus so it becomes straight again this lateral transverse sinus becomes straight again so giving the names this curved part which we call the lateral transverse sinus in fact this part is the sigmoid sinus and this straight part is what the final end called the internal jugular vein and here you know we have jugular bulb along with we have carotid artery here internal carotid artery uh, that's all hope you would like all this analogy thank you for watching